Hi all, Larry Powell II here with mail call number 7 of 2021. And today I got a couple of letters in the mail. One is from Found It Buried. And the other one is from Coin World UK. And I will be opening these up here in just a minute. Let me get my letter opener up here, and we'll see what they sent me. Let's see. Well, I taped it all the way up there. Uh, he didn't want to make it easy for me. Let's see, but maybe if I just kind of go right in here. Okay, I got it started now. I can just slide this in there and open it up the rest of the way. Okay, oh, yep, there we go. And now we'll go the other way. All right. Now I'll set this one over here while I'm doing this. see what we got here. Oh, oh, I caught the edge of his sticker. Well, ooh, but it didn't hurt that bad. All right, looks like you taped that to the envelope so it would move around. Okay, if I can get the tape loose. There, we got one end of it. Looks like he uses green tape like I do. Only I use duct tape. <clears throat> Anybody that receives a package from me is going to have that tape on it somewhere. Because that's what I use to tape it shut so they can't open it. In route, hopefully. I mean, I'm sure they can cut it open, but it's going to be obvious then that it's been opened. Anyway, that's just a little. And there's nothing else in there, so we'll slide that back there. And there's his sticker. And I kind of messed up the top edge of it there a little bit. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize there was a sticker in there. I didn't feel anything when I was filling at the top of the envelope. I should have cut it on the end. That's what I should have done, but I didn't realize it had a sticker in it. Anyway, it's still a cool sticker, and I will be keeping it anyway. Even with that little cut there in the top of it. Thank you very much for that found and buried. I definitely like your sticker. Okay, let's open this up and see what he sent me. open here. Looks like it's just some kind of saran wrap type of stuff to keep the coins from moving. There's one. Take a look and see what we got here. Elizabeth the second de Gratia Virginia. Okay, this is a Canadian dime. It looks like 
Let's see if I can read the year. 1958 Canadian Dime. Very cool. And this one is a 1960 Canadian Dime. And there's the front. Oop, almost off the camera. There's the front of that one. And then this one. Okay. Is... A 1947 Canadian dime. And there's the front of that one. And then this is the what I won on that one stream. It was the Toonie. Or the, I don't know if this is the Toonie or. I think I got it upside down. Yeah, there's where it goes. Looks like it's a 2020. And it says Bill Reed on it. And there's the maple leaf down here. And then it's got this painted part. And then that's what it looks like on the front. Canada $2. That is very cool. Thank you. I, don't think I've, I know I don't, I've never had one of those before. So thank you very much for that. Found it buried. Three silver dimes and a, and a uh, toonie, I think is what that's called. I can't remember which is which, loony or toonie. But anyway, it's one of the two. I'll have to do some research to see now that I've got one. <clears throat> and I remember he asked me if I wanted to paint it or non-painted, and I chose painted. Whenever I won that giveaway. That is very cool. And then this is where I want to give away on Coin World UK's uh, stream. It doesn't feel like there's anything on that end, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open that end. I'm going to open this end of it. And I'll just have to hope that I don't hit another sticker or something like that. shake okay all right let's see if I can get the stuff out from the end like this there is a 2021 coin world UK sticker thank you very much for that very cool oh and I think you wrote a note on the back Congratulations on your win. Thank you for playing your friend, Dale. Coin World UK. Well, thank you very much for that. No, Dale, I appreciate that. Let's see if I can get a hold of this. Actually, I'm going to have to open the envelope up the rest of the way because it looks like it's taped to the the inside okay now I should be able to get in there we go yep he taped it to the inside of the envelope okay even put some stuff back there to keep it from being okay interesting all right uh, set that right there oh well Maybe that was just to keep it from moving around. I'll take it right there for now. All right. Let's see. 50% silver. 
George V. Or George V. George Ibs. I'm not sure what that says exactly. I'll have to do some research. Uh, okay, so this was something that Can Can give had sent him as a give for a giveaway to use as a giveaway. And it says it's a 1920 one florin. <clears throat> and yep, there's 1920 on either side of that deal there. Very cool. Oh, let's bring it up so you guys can see it a little better. And there is the front of it. And thank you very much for sending that to me, Dale. I like that. That is very cool. And it says it's 50% silver. That is awesome. Well, I want to thank... <clears throat> Excuse me. Got a little frog in my throat. I want to thank Found It Buried for sending me this very cool coin and this three dimes. And I want to thank Coin World UK for sending me this very cool 50% silver coin. And it says it was minted in London, England. Or I'm assuming that's what that means there. Minted country, London, England. Didn't realize England used florin as currency, but maybe they minted it for another country. I don't know. Anyway, either way, it, that looks really cool. I appreciate that. Thank you. And that is a very old for my, I will, can safely say that as the oldest foreign currency that I have. Because I don't have much foreign currency. And most of, or not currency, coins, foreign coins. And most of the foreign coins I do have are a lot newer than that. Anyway, so, once again, I want to thank everyone for watching. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be doing more mail calls whenever I get more stuff in the mail. And this is what I received on Thursday. January 21st of 2021. And this has been mail call number 7 of 2021. And if you want to contact me, my email will be in the description down below. Or if you want to uh, send me something, my mailing address will be in the description down below as well. Everyone have a wonderful day and be safe. Bye-bye.